Tonight, Lieutenant Governor Stephen Point is racing against the clock to complete a very meaningful present in honor of a very meaningful name change. Last year, Point showed us a more artistic side of himself. He carved a shovel-nosed canoe with help from a friend, well-known artist and hereditary chief Tony Hunt. Now, the duo is busy again, putting the grace notes on a gracious gift that will be presented at the official name change ceremony for the Salish Sea tomorrow morning. A news reporter Shachi Curl got access to the artist's workshop this afternoon and has this exclusive first look. With calloused hands and glue-covered fingers, a man no stranger to ceremony is feverishly preparing for a very special one. And then I took a little chip and the whole canoe fell off. <gasps> the horses. Oh my God. And when that happened, the front end here broke off. This canoe is the vessel that will help mark a new journey in B.C. history, one that sees three bodies of water, the Juan de Fuca Strait, the Georgia Strait, and Puget Sound united under a new name, the Salish Sea. So the whole name is the Sea Raven on the Salish Sea. The canoe will be presented in an official ceremony tomorrow. That is if he can get it done in time. My problem is, is that uh, I, I'm a left-hand governor that's, uh, that's only doing this when and if I got 10 minutes here, half an hour there. Are you going to get it done? It's uh, absolutely. Right, Tony? How long are you <laughs> no problem. This is not the first time Lieutenant Governor Stephen Point has experienced the honor and the humbling nature of carving, nor is it the first time he's enlisted the help of his friend, master carver and hereditary chief, Tony Hunt. The last time this dynamic carving duo worked together was the first time for Stephen Point when he turned a piece of driftwood into a shovel-nosed canoe. Mm. You know, has he improved? Is he a better student than what he was? Better than the first one, yeah. yeah. The Lieutenant Governor has been working hard on this one since about April 11th, and where that first canoe was made of a piece of driftwood found on the beach not far from here at Government House. This one is made of 15 and a half feet of red cedar. If the first project was a labor of love, the stakes are a lot higher this time, and so is the meaning. I, I think it's a great gesture on their part to, to, uh, to, to name uh, this body of water after the Coast Salish people, you know, and, uh, and let's face it, we haven't had a, a really great relationship uh, all the time, and, and this, this, this is like mending bridges. The canoe, which took shape under the firm hand of his honor's brother, Mark Point, will be turned over to the Navy as it celebrates its 100th anniversary. A fitting gift to mark two occasions, two very different histories, and one united future. What does that mean to you personally? Well, it's a great feeling. Uh, I, I've always, I've always thought that that we need to find a way uh, for for diverse people to 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 live together. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.